been a while since I made a video, one of my spectacular educational videos, and I took a little time off, just needed a rest, man, full-blown fucking exhaustion, I was fucking involved in 10,000 different research trials and studies, and training and everything else, and I just needed some time to breathe, actually wasn't sleeping well, you know, shit like that, um, Today we talk about the skeleton, human skeleton, and in particular, the spine. We'll find out the workings, and we're going to finish in explaining the Asia evaluation. We're going to talk about Asia classifications, the Asia evaluation itself, and level of injury. Hopefully I will not disappoint and make this a total piece of shit. Let's see what we got going on. How you been holding up, alright? Good, good. Fantastic. Wonderful. But quick question. How many bones make up the human skeleton? You realize that when you are born, you are born with 270 bones. By the time you reach adulthood, there's 206. 64 are fused together. But today we are talking about simply the spinal column. Starting with the cervical, the thoracic, the lumbar, the sacral, and finally the coccyx. And the human spinal column is made up of 33 vertebrae. 7 in the cervical region, 12 in the thoracic, 5 in the lumbar, 5 in the sacral, and 4 in the coccygeal about the spinal column we'll talk about now we'll talk about the vertebrae that actually make up the spinal column and along with the vertebrae we have the spinal cord obviously this is a picture of a single vertebrae you know with the transverse process the spinous process and the foramen that actually you know houses the uh, spinal cord and we have here a cross section under magnification and we have another section under magnification about a gazillion times you know here's where the problems are what we have in our body is the most complex computer in the known universe. With this depiction, you see the spinal nerves and dorsal root ganglia. These things are measured in a micron, and they haven't quite figured out how to fix this yet. Interesting factoid. Nerves in the spinal cord range from 4 to 100 microns thick, and the electrical impulses move up to 200 miles per hour. Here it is, the central nervous system is made of a complex network of nerve tissue and it controls the activities of the body. In vertebrates, it comprises the brain and spinal cord. Operating on this is like trying to operate on jello. The homunculus, what the hell is that? This little guy is an exaggerated form, I guess you could say, depicting the things that are the most important of the human body. The hands, obviously, the lips, the tongue, and everything else that goes along with it. Understand something. There is an argument where merely the legs merely get the body and the brain from point A to point B. However, all your lower extremities, all of your vital organs and everything else have been affected by spinal cord injury. To me, the legs are the most important part. Welcome to the American Spinal Injury Association which has come up with the American Spinal Impairment Assessment. Here are some of the tools they use. Safety pinning the Q-tip. And now you've probably seen this. This is the Asia Evaluation Chart. Left side is the motor function. They cover 10 different places and give a score one to five, which gives you a motor score. On the right side, you'll notice there's 28 different points of sensory points that determine level of injury, severity of injury, incomplete or incomplete quickly discuss the Asia impairment scale. This derives the severity of injury. First we have Asia A complete. No motor function or sensory function is preserved in the sacral segments. That is below the level of injury. That is what everybody takes as the stereotypical spinal cord injury. And next is Asia B. There is sensory but not motor function is preserved below the neurological level and includes the sacral segments S4 and S5. 
This is a little bit more forgiving, this level of injury. And then we have level C. This is where I live. Also incomplete, I have motor function is preserved below the level of injury in more than half of the key muscles below the neurological level have a muscle grade of less than three. Now which brings us to level D. Asia D is incomplete also. Motor function is preserved below the neurological level and half the key muscles have a score of greater than three. This is much more forgiving. As you go up in letters, the severity drops. If you have a spinal cord injury and you've been diagnosed with Asia D, e, that means you are one of the luckiest people on earth. All right, we'll go through the levels of injury. In the cervical nerves, the head and neck, C2, diaphragm, C3, deltoids, biceps, wrist extender, triceps, hands. From your thoracic, most of your, you know, your chest muscles, your abdominal muscles, your lumbar, your leg muscles, sacral nerves, bowel and bladder, sexual function. And I'll give you a little homework. Study up on the autonomic nervous system. Autonomic rhymes with automatic. I'm active all the time. I am always fucking with something. Well, anyway. That's my take on the spine. Uh, it's not really a take on the spine. Vertebrae, it's not a take on the vertebrae. I uh, showing you pretty much just what I know as far as Asia classification, which is severity of injury, level of injury, which, I mean, to me, uh, more like a guideline. Level of injury is simply the highest level that you've been injured at. And if you take a look and you actually decide to investigate more of uh, the Asia evaluation and other things like that, and actually educate yourself on your injury. You better know what it is that you're dealing with or what it is you're not dealing with. You better serve. I glanced over the motor scores and the sensory scores. And I glanced over most everything in hopes that you decide to do your own research. I found that through research and through having yeah, probably at least a dozen Asia exams done on me um, to get into certain studies and things of that nature, there's a lot of different ways people go about it administering the test. There are people that try to get all sneaky and they sneak in the, the pinprick test with the, with the uh, cotton ball test. And other people that strictly go through the cotton ball, the pinprick, and everything else. I ran, I found one of the more effective ways that, you know, you really can't lie anymore is either close your eyes or have them blindfold you. This is not a test that you can really cheat on, but at the same time it is. If you look down and you see where they're poking at, your brain says, yes, I do feel that. You know, and if you're wondering why they, they originally, and I didn't touch on this during the, the, uh, the video, why they, they, they touch the side of your face, and then they touch over here, over there, or wherever else it is that they touch, is, your C1 is right about here, so it can't affect anything above C1. You know what I mean? And your face is above C1. Your head starts where your neck stops, or neck stops where your head starts, whatever you want to say. So this always remains the starting point. You'll feel everything here at 100%. And then they in turn go to here and there and all that gets to the floor. And you know, they'll normally they'll ask you, is that the same? Is that different? 
Is it slightly better? You know, so on and so forth. However, look into the muscle scoring. You know, wrist extension, bicep extension, tricep extension. They do the finger thing. Well, my fingers don't really work. Well, they do the other finger thing where the finger's got to move back and forth and wiggle around. The only finger I got that sort of moves is this one. Ha ha. But listen, babies. Uh, you know, take interest in the level of injury that you have. Take interest in your, find out what your Asia classification is. And that, the one thing they speak about is the, motherfucker, is the S4, S5 sacral region, which is basically, uh, it's where they stick their finger in your ass. And they try to explain, the, you know, they're trying to see if you have any muscle, sphincter muscle grasp. I know it sounds a little fucked up, but that is the number one thing that creates the complete or incomplete. As you saw before, incomplete. There is some movement, some sensation beneath the level of injury. And then there's different levels thereof. A complete injury, no feeling, no movement below the level of injury. Okay? I found out that I had, you know, mad asshole bite when the last doctor that pulled that shit off came up missing a finger. That's what I'm talking about, man. These motherfuckers want to get all silly with me. I bite your goddamn finger off of my ass. But research, research, research for yourself. Very important to no one else other than yourself. Okay? Now, I don't know what you do, what you don't do, or whether I give a shit or not give a shit, but believe it or not, I give a shit to a degree. Only because I honestly do believe that everybody can do more. Everybody. That includes me. It's one of the reasons I push myself, and I'm going to continue to push myself. I'm going to continue to be involved in research. I've got a couple things coming up that look pretty cool. Um, I am going to continue to train. I'm going to continue to modify my training. I'm going to continue to keep you in, updated to the modification of my training. I'm not going to continue to you know, do these one of fucking asshole things where people give you updates on what they fucking did last week or some shit. Fuck all that noise. If I do something that's actually cool and I think maybe you should be interested in, then I'll let you know. Other than that, man, you know, I'm in the middle of some shit, as well I am always. And if you have any questions pertaining to an, a, a, an Asia evaluation, the Asia assessment, or anything to do with the Asia assessment, look it up your fucking self. You'll find it all. Stop fucking around. Educate yourself. Because if you don't, no one is doing it for you. Hear me out. Let me the fuck out.